Hello, this is Joe McCarthy at Dell Tech Laboratories. Uh, this is a quick video that is a follow-up to the webinar we gave on September 18th about ingredient disclosure under the New York uh, Clean Product Disclosure Program and the California Clean Product Right to Know. If you missed that webinar, you can find a recorded version of it at this YouTube address, or if you just want to see the slides, they're on our SlideShare library as well. In that webinar, uh, you would have learned that the New York Cleaning Product Ingredient Disclosure Program had been struck down by the New York Supreme Court, and uh, it's no longer effective. There's no deadline for that anymore. We also demonstrated and discussed some of the challenges of finding and navigating the California Designated Substances List, and we introduced the ingredient search uh, tool that we've put together that will let you search all your cast numbers against all the designated lists at the same time with a simple copy and paste. And the rest of this video is going to be a demonstration of that tool. So you can see how it works and how it's going to be very uh, time and cost effective for your job. And seeing as today is October 23rd and there's only 75 days left until the first deadline for California, which is your web disclosure. There's not a lot of time left. And I think this is really going to make your jobs a lot easier. It all starts with a list of cast numbers that you provide to us. We don't need to know what formula the ingredients are in. We don't need to know which product they're in. We need to know the percent ingredients. You simply give us a list of cast numbers and we would give something like this back to you. Before it provides a single snapshot of all the cast numbers against uh, all the designated list. If it's on the list, it'll be highlighted in light red. Uh, for example, cinnamon, this fragrance component. If you were to scroll across, you're going to find that it is, in fact, an EU fragrance allergen. Uh, the other thing we provide along with the um, cross reference against the list is the common name, uh, acceptable nomenclature for the regulation, because uh, something like cinnamal sounds better than 2 propene uh, 3 phenol, and sodium xylene sulfonate sounds better than benzene sulfonic acid dimethyl sodium salt. It's also going to take up less room on your uh, label and your website. We also provide the functions for those ingredients because that's a uh, requirement for the website disclosure. In cases where there's more than one known function, uh, we'll try to list them all. You just have to choose the one that's most appropriate for your product. Um, it's great that you would get a consolidated list of all the ingredients against all the designated lists, but you want to know on a product by product basis uh, which ingredients are on which list. Um, so, what we can do here is based on that, um, you could copy and paste a formula. Uh, in this case, we'll use a um, kind of a model, um, all-purpose cleaner formula, and it will automatically populate those uh, ingredients for you. Um, and you'll see here, so we are the cinnamal again, uh, which is the fragrance allergen. We'll see the infamous 1,4-dioxane, it's also coming out that's going to be a contaminant of most of your alcohols, or in this case, the sodium laurel laureth ether sulfate. Um, it's great that you could do this formula by formula, but what you probably want to know is what do you have to have on your label and what does it have to be on the website? So based on the formula we've put in here, this next tab will automatically generate that for you. So in this case, it's showing on uh, your first option for label disclosure, you have all your intentionally added ingredients. Um, you have your EU fragrance allergen cinnamal. You've got your non-functional ingredient, 1,4-dioxane. Um, and we could use colorant for the dye. We don't have to list the dyes. So you could group them together as colorant. And similar with the fragrances. You only have to call out the EU fragrance allergens. Um, the second option is you can withhold the EU fragrance allergens, but replace that with a statement contains fragrant allergen. Uh, of course, you would have to have the toll-free number for your company and the website where the consumer can get more ingredient information. Scrolling down, this is what's going to be on your website. You would have the list of ingredients, you'll have your cast numbers, the function of those ingredients, and which designated list they are on. And below that, we have all the designated lists with the direct links to them. We go back to the formula for a moment. Uh, recall that for EU fragrance allergens like Cinnamel, you only have to disclose those if they are present at uh, more than 100 ppm. So we were to change the concentration of this to less than 100 ppm. And then we'll go back to the label. And also for the one for doxane, you only have to disclose it if it's present at 10 ppm. So perhaps we know it's less than that. And click back to your uh, label and your website disclosure. And we'll see the cinnamon is gone. 
we don't have option two because you don't actually have a EU fragrance allergen above 100 ppm anymore. The 1,4-dioxane is gone. You scroll down to the website disclosure and neither the Cinemal nor the 1,4-dioxane are showing up there. Um, so that's great that we've got it for that formula. But because you have a database of all your cast numbers, you could also apply this to any other ones. So we could take, uh, say, a model class cleaner formula and then just plot those numbers in. And we get the same results. In this case, none of these ingredients, or sorry, three of the ingredients were on a uh, designated substance list. You go to your label disclosure, it updates that. And then we get your website disclosure again with the same link, numbered links where uh, they appear on a designated list. Uh, perhaps something a little bit more compl complicated if we went to say a air freshener or um, which has many ingredients in it. Same example. We copy and paste. We see that only one ingredient is on a designated list. Again, it's the cinnamol, is a neo fragrance allergen, but we have 16 other fragrance ingredients in this. Uh, but the logic functions we built into this is smart enough to realize, as we wait to do the calculation, you can group all your non-EU fragrance allergens together as fragrance on your label. So we're only disclosing the three ingredients. Or in this case, you withhold the EU fragrance allergen and now that statement contains fragrance allergens. You go to your website disclosure and now it's going to list all those ingredients, what their cast number, the function, and their uh, which designated list they appear on. So if that looks like something that you can use and it's going to make your life easier, please get a hold of me. We can make a custom copy for you, for your formula only, or for your for your stable of 